Hey everyone, this is Nitro. It is now day 6 since Frigga was first released and my Frigga now hits level 20. So with this level upgrade, I can now unlock the next set of battles in her Kingdom of the Aurora. So let's get around to it and get her stage 4 1, 4 2, and 4 3 done. So at this point, 4-2 and 4-3 both have feats to do, so here we go. Starting with the first one, mainly ranged enemies, it looks like. Well, I know what kind of party I always use, it's Legion of Glory. And as always, I'm going to stick with characters who I don't think I'll use for future battles. So like this. And this looks good. So... I just need to make sure I avoid getting hit by that, and we're good to go. So, let's begin. Oh, and of course, by default, I have to change to Frigga instead of Thor. Here we go. Turn on Danger Zone. Let's have my characters move up initially. And this has two range with the spear from, so I'll have to place it one tower back. Let's have uh, a stomach. Celestial can start moving up. And finally, let's have Lenin trigger his faction. Archer away. And then. Hey. Crap! I have to move Liana first because I moved the Archer. I keep forgetting about that. It's such a frustrating thing. Crystal Warlock asleep. Dwarven Adventurer has single target strike. So I'm clearly going to pull. <laughs> single target striker and I'm probably going to try to rip up the crystal warlock double attack down it goes next is to deploy okay and Going to have Owens, Reign of Glory, and Sword Soul to catapult. Taking it out. And finally, I might as well just trigger the Arcane Blast. Lenin's guard is permanently disabled. Fine. Start with Elwyn sword soling from behind. Why don't I cast her Tears of Ember buff now? Frigga. Because that increases range even further. But. 
for example, I think I can use this skill at three range now. Yep. So let's have Celestrion one self and one shot it. Guess I'll have my avatar of the goddess end her turn so she can move one tile, which is still too far away. Ugh. Well, so much for that. Yeah, for the Galactic Stormwind then. It's going to try to heal itself, but it can't! The only annoying thing is this guy is on the city wall tile, so he's not easy to kill. But... It'll work out. There we go. Five epic crafters hammers. Next. So that one didn't have any special effect for the enemies. This one, physical and magic damage taken is reduced by 80%, and fixed damage taken is increased by 100%, and you have to win within four rounds. So, you need to crush all these enemies with fixed damage. Interesting. I guess Lispel and Landius. I think I can afford to play Tiaris. Fixed damage wise, I have Igbert or Lifany. Probably Igbert. And. Or Freya! What am I doing? Hold on a sec. Hold up. Freya and Lifany, right? Freya, Listel, Sophia. Right. I can keep Igbert because I have Sophia. And I just need to keep Freya alive, which Tiaris should do. And this should do it. So, let's see how well this works out. And if I really want to be super careful, I can bring Regenerate as well. Alright, this looks good. Let's begin. And I'm actually going to let them all come close to me. So we'll just regenerate. And I'm gonna have my characters wait. No point in wasting the skills early. Go, just as planned. Chain up is nothing. Freya with a crazy amount of fixed damage. And general tankiness can double regen. Alright, so let's have Igbert toss out the first AoE. This one's all about fixed damage, so... I'll have this stealth, let them see. Freya... Doesn't really matter what she does. It's fine. Tiaris will mass heal. And I'm going to rewind now.
Hey, tentacle twice in a row. Oof. So next turn I have to finish this. Which is fine. Freya starts. Oh no. Should have blood danced first. That was my Alright. Let's just drop. Trigger again. There's actually not enough effects on her. On him right now. So if I attack like that, there's still only. Okay, there's now four stacks of Divine Fetter. Yeah. So now I can cause an explosion with our King Glass. There we go. And battle number three. Send four less heroes in battle, win from three turns. Okay, the most difficult part is probably win within three turns, realistically speaking. So, if I play Lucretia, Hilda, Lolly Jess, and Florentia, let's see what happens. First and follow up at the other characters. Let's begin. Turn on danger zones. And I do want to kind of bait out attacks. So let's start with kill the fashion buff like this. Pressure, this is range attack, the spider demon, and one shot. Just gonna shift it back so that Lolly Jess can teleport to it and act again. And strike. With her 3C skill. Not enough to kill. That's fine. I'm going to trigger my act again. So let's cast. Group. Act again. And grab the kill. Might have wanted Broken Arrow on Hilda to do, do some counter attack damage to these two, but this one didn't. It actually melee raged the spear throw, so we're okay. That one I won't counter. Yeah, that's fine. Whoa! I don't know how that guy had a range attack. That was unexpected. Like, really unexpected. Oh. 
Range attack to heal the pressure to fall. Going to go into uh, the cavalry form. And I'm going to. Let's see. If I watch out the AOE like this, I'm going to damage all of these enemies. And I can have Florentia enter. Because I do have three turns to clear this. So for now... Christian might as well just work with the Deluxe Centurion. And I'm going to just uh, magic pulse someone. Actually, let's just teleport and have her just range attack the still Vanguard. Make sure it dies. Last two enemies. Start with a further drop. Last turn as well. Okay. So they both have three feathers. That's not for ignition. Okay. Light of Genesis kills one. Lucretia kills the other. And I have Lorenzo for an act again. Yay, banquet seats. So Another character there. Claim the rewards here. Let's go back to Frigga. And I want to increase either int or the soldier attack values. One or the other. I'm just gonna do soldier attack values first. So it's a matter of figuring out which branches of text to get, and I think it's going to take a while to unlock it but that was one level because you have to go into this one for five then this one for seven before you get the seven so five plus seven plus seven that's a very expensive by comparison unlocking 12 int would take something like five four and seven so it's actually actually it is pretty similar and the final branch is here which is like three Four and seven. I think that's like the cheapest way. Yeah. Three, four, seven. So but I think soldier output may be more important than int. It's kinda hard to say. Anyways, we'll follow this path. That one first, then it's that one, and then finally that one. So slowly as always, unlocking those hero boost, hero stat boost, with an orientation towards increasing damage output first. The other question is, learning these skills I think is very important to use Frigga properly. So it's, and of course, there's always being able to summon her on like turn one or whatever. Right? So restore energy, six energy, stuff like that. Start with, I think, 54 energy, which is this one. So you'd have to go this, this, and this, and then pick up along that line. Many texts to grab, really. I'm just trying to see if there's a more efficient way of grabbing this. So it would be something like through here, through that, through the attack, through the skill, and then you pick up these two. But you need 
four Twilight Auroras for that. So, not that easy. In any case, I think I'm pretty much done here. So... Yeah, we'll stop here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Nitro out.